everybody. Welcome to the Strawberry Moon. Happy Friday. My name's Lulu. And I'm Mr B. And we're bringing you some love, joy and positivity with our reborn family. Now, uh, I have to say welcome to some new subscribers. We do have some new people watching. So welcome along to you. You'll have to excuse me. I'm looking a little bit less than my pristine self. It's been rather a tough week. And my silly health is playing silly games as silly usual. So I'm sort of looking a little bit rushed and ruffled at the moment. So do excuse. Now, for those of you who are new or who haven't seen things like this before, um, we don't only have human reborn babies. We do have alternatives as well. And we also have animal babies and animal hybrids. And today we have a double blanket reveal and one of these is an animal baby so mr b would you like to go first okay so shall we do the feet first, do the feet first. okay so there we are oh interesting feet what kind of creature do you think that's going to be this little one came all the way from australia and i've been waiting for her for a long time and I have to say, I will have to think three times before buying anything from Australia again. I don't know whether it's because we've left the EU now or what. I'm sure the last thing we had from Australia did not cost nearly so much to get in. That was Little Willow and her bits and pieces. Are you ready to do the next bit, Mr. B? I'm ready when you are. Yeah, yes. Okay. Should we do the, the uh, we'll do this part next. Yes. There oh, we go. Such cute hands. Aren't they lovely? There we go. But, um, yes, it was very, the customers' fees were, I think, some of the most we've ever had to pay, weren't they? I would say so, yes, yeah. yes. It, really and it was quite a job, exorbitant, too. Exorbitant, yeah. I have to say. But she's such a darling little thing. Are you ready, Mr. B, to do the full reveal? And the full reveal, here we go. There she is. She is a beautiful little part silicone baby gorilla. Hello. And her name is Lucy. She was going to be Misty, as in Gorillas in the Mist. But when she got here, she kind of told us her name was Lucy and it stuck. So she has gorgeous soft silicone hands, feet and head. Her head is rooted uh, with soft fine hair and her body is all furry and fluffy. And I've always thought that having a fur body for monkey sculpts would be a good idea because it then allows you not to have to dress the monkeys in clothes, a practice I've always detested, because I think putting monkeys into clothes is cruel and unnatural, and I've never liked doing it. I have four monkey sculpts, which I very rarely do anything with, because I do so hate having to have them in clothes. Um, even though I mostly dress them in as little as I can get away with, I still really hate it. But this little one has a fur body, and I just love her chunky limbs and her gorgeous little body. She is wearing a nappy, and this is a lovely nappy that Auntie Susie bought for us. It's a satin-covered nappy with the cloth pad inserts, and I just absolutely love it. She looks so pretty in it. And... Isn't she soft, Mr. B? She is. She's very furry, she yeah. is. Yes. Um, excuse me for reaching over you. I wonder whether I can do it. Look what she can do. Be very, 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 very careful. Because that... I don't want that mouth to tear. Look what she can do. Aww. Look, Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Aww. I know. She can put her thumb in her mouth, for those who can't see. She just looks so cute. And she's really, really gorgeous. And so we're going to be doing something special with her on Sunday. So do stay tuned for that if you can. So Mr. B is going to hold her 
while I show you the little one I have to show you because it's Friday and Friday is Moonkin's Day. Oh, one little thing before we go on with the Moonkin reveal. Uh, in case any of you are interested, she came from uh, Joanne Elise in Australia. And Joanne Elise has, she doesn't have a Facebook page, but she does have a Facebook account. So if you're looking for her, it's joanne.elise75. Yes, that refers to Lucy. That rather than the, um, the new moonkin that we were, you were just about to talk about. New moonkins you can find on the Strawberry Moonkins Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash strawberry moonkins. But I found it very easy to find Joanne's Facebook account. Yes. So there was no difficulty. So you should easily be able to do it. Right then, let's get on and show you I can't show you feet as in feet because she has tights on, but here are her little feet. And trust me when I tell you that these little feet have some really nice details on them. And here's one little handy, handy pandy. Open hand, cute little detailing on the fingers. And here is another little hand, another little open hand, plump little hand. And here is the girl herself. Here she is. Now you'll notice something different about this one straight away. Rhea, what's different about her? Oh, is it the eyes? <laughs> no, she's got beautiful blonde hair. She has. Uh, all the Moonkins hitherto have not had hair and I've always given them nice little hats but they haven't had hair, uh, mostly because I couldn't do hair <laughs> before. If I lean her forward, you can see that she has this, these lovely little baby ringlets at the back of her head. And then um, behind her ear, she has a kiss curl and a sweet little fringe. Um, but yes, I couldn't do wigs until last weekend, um, but, this particular sculpt, there was something about it which it had to be wig or nothing. So I bit the bullet <laughs> and I learned to do wigs. Uh, so my babies, unless you custom order a blonde baby, a blonde baby, a ball baby, uh, which is a little bit cheaper, will now have uh, a wig, I hope. So she has a beautiful blonde head of hair. It's really, really pretty. And she has gorgeous eyes, bright blue eyes, and a very pretty little face. Can you tell us about this outfit she's wearing? Well, she's got the most adorable little sh shorts. Yes. White shorts. Bermudas. With um, slices of lovely looking watermelon. <laughs> a pretty little simple um, knitted cardigan. And a pink top with a... With a slice of watermelon with a smiley face and it says happy fruits <laughs> mm. yes the top has got like um a peplum frilled hair which is really cute and some eye lace around the bottom um and um i didn't realize when i ordered it, it didn't say it was a short set it said it was a leggings and top set so um i had to judge it up slightly with this little cardi and a pair of tights so that it could be worn uh, in this very nasty weather, but it looks really pretty. Her name is Juliet Rosaline, for any who know their Shakespeare. Juliet, of course, is Romeo's tragic girlfriend, but Rosaline, or Rosaline, is the lady that he was supposed to be madly in love with before. And when he set eyes on Juliet, he forgot all about poor Rosaline. <laughs> I always thought she was rather hard done by. So this little one's name is Juliet Rosaline. Come here, my sweetheart. Let's show people something a bit unique about you. Come and have cuddles. Let's show one your magic sound, which is very cute. Now, can I just say, I think that's the best sound from any <laughs> of the Moonkins. 
she's so good. It's it's like she's talking. And she's just blowing bubbles at the moment. <laughs> this is a right little chatterbox. Mm. <laughs> now, if you were going to buy her because of the wig, she would have cost you £140 basic with a disposable nappy or £160 with the magic moon dust, strawberry moon dust magic nappy. Only, unfortunately, you can't buy her because just from the sneaky peek I put up, earlier in the week she's gone ski she's gone ski so Juliet will be going home to her new mummy next week so I wanted to show it to you because I thought you might like to see how pretty she is but she's gone already are you <laughs> Mummy liked the look of you so much, even though she couldn't see your eyes. But she's gone already. I'm just... Wow. Just wow. So much overwhelmed by the response there's been to these little moonkins. It's a bit amazing, isn't it, with me? It really is. Worked very well done, because uh, obviously, um, you know, they're, they're much loved. Well, it's kind of... It's very humbling, let's just say. And thank you for everybody who's been so kind about them. And I'm just so desperately grateful to Apple Valley Dollworks, who, you know, have put out these dolls, which are factory painted but which have the hand painted detail on them and have given me the chance to fulfill this dream which I've had for so long of being able to make my own babies and I would never have had the chance. I did hear that um, Bountiful Baby brought out some ready painted babies but then they I hear that there was a storm of protest about them and that there was no demand, so they stopped. Which I think is very sad, personally. Well, it is, because that would have given you an extra string to your bow as well, wouldn't it? Would. It would. Um, these sculpts, they're not meant to be used like this, usually, so I'm told. People just put them together with ordinary stuffing and they don't weight them. And... Um, you can tell because sometimes the limbs have very tiny holes in them. Um, this little one's head didn't even have an opening in the bottom. It was closed up with a disc of vinyl and I had to get a vinyl knife and open it so that I could fill and weight the head. Um, and you know, it would be so nice to have some newer ready painted kits, but I'm only one person, so they're not exactly going to do them just for one person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any road up, that is our little Juliet, and I'm so glad that people seem to like her and someone's liked her enough to buy her. So I will be bringing out my last Moonkin from this batch next Friday, and then there will be a few weeks rest before the new batch comes out, and that batch will also include a pair of twins, which I've been uh, given as a custom order. I hopefully, hope. hopefully. Yeah, so that's going to be good fun to do those. Right, well, I will, we will love you and leave you for now. Oh, you're so beautiful. I know, she's and great. She is, she just look at that thumb in her mouth. It's so cute, it's <laughs> so cute, it's so cute. When we come back on Sunday, we are going to be, again with Lucy and Juliet, Mr B's going to have Juliet, and we're going to do a feed with Lucy, so join us for that. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And enjoy your babies. And, and let's, let's be good, good to each other. other. Bye. Bye-bye.